to make California great again. And the uh, only thing I have to say is this is a bunch of bull crap because I ain't having nobody spend my tax dollars for some illegals. You cannot come to my neighborhood and sell in my neighborhood and do whatever you want. Now, I don't care what, I don't care what none of them say because they ain't even supposed to be here. And in 10 days, we're going to find out the moment of truth. Now, as far as I live in the hood, all this, these, I remember Janice Hahn last time, you said they were the valedictorians. Valedictorians are the top 1%. Hey, you don't live in my hoods. I know those candy houses they got in the projects are secretly heroin houses. They sell dope. Hey, nobody had more cocaine in the 80s than the Pisces. That's the ones, the illegals from it. They was the ones that sold black folks cocaine in order to sell. I got all the goods because all me, my cousin, my family, we live amongst them, okay? Oh, and in the jails, and in the jails, there's four times as many as them as black. Every time you go along, you look, I'm going to tell all your, all your stuff. On Olympic, you can go up in there and you can buy all them fake IDs. There's so much fakeness going on. I'm just going to pause it right there real quick. I actually live in Los Angeles, and I know the area he's talking about where you can easily go and get a fake ID. He said over on Olympic, if I'm not mistaken, he's talking about this area over here by MacArthur Park, which is just a couple blocks away from Olympic Boulevard. So yeah, it's not a great part of town to go to, but there's a metro station right there, which is the underground subway system here in Los Angeles. But when you get off of the metro and you come above ground, the first place you end up is right here outside this 99 cent only store. That's the platform right there where you come up out of the subway. You immediately see all these street vendors selling all kinds of weird things and they will try to sell to you as you're walking past them. One of these people along the way will ask you if you need any fake IDs and they will make one for you right then and there. And they'll use a completely made up name for you or a stolen identity. They'll take your picture and they'll put it on a fake ID for you. They also sell stolen credit cards right there too. I'm going to expose everything and all these good citizens, I'm going to let you know. You're going to see about all of it. Make California great again. We're going to handle this. If you guys don't, I will. And if Mr. Trump would have lost, I'd have organized some brothers and we put all your asses under some citizens arrest way legal. And, and, and then we get some lawyers to make sure. That you know what? This is not a conversation back. with the audience. Well, I'm dealing with you now because I don't like You are not attitude. dealing with me. Okay. You want to testify. I'm, I'm talking. You testify well, I'm talking. forward I'm you're to wasting the board. My time. You're wasting my time because I don't like your attitude anyway. I, 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 I like you all right. I like, I like your attitude, but I don't like your decisions. Your daddy was great. Your brother was a one-termer. And if you don't want yourself, you'll be a one-termer. I love Captain Barber. I like you. But just don't be with that bull crap. And that Uncle Tom nigga there, that Uncle Tom nigga there, right there, you got to go. You are through, sir. All right, everybody, calm down. Calm down. You know people yell to get you all riled up. That's why they, that's why they yell. That's all they're about. So don't play into it. Thank you, sir, for your rant. Um, next speaker, please. Yes, hi. I'm glad you're here, Ridley Thomas. Uh, you probably know who I am, Candace Camper. I'm one of the uh, homeless citizens on the Anzac property that you left homeless on the street. There's seven of us. Okay, now I want to go to this uh, immigration. Yes, you guys did. And you guys want to fund uh, illegal immigrants, and you left seven African-American people out on the street homeless with no help on the Anzac property. And I am one of the victims. And you guys have the nerve to sit up here and help illegal immigrants. And me and seven other people and my child was kicked out of a home due to housing corruption in your district. And you are well aware of it. Okay, now, if you guys say illegal immigration is legal and you are saying this is illegal, well, guess what? If illegal immigration or un undocumented isn't a crime, then why are you as citizens being unfairly charged with illegal crimes? If they can do it, so can the American people. And then they talk about fearful of their children. The American people are fearful currently now due to the Mexican cartels who are upset because they are going to be deported and now they are attacking right. American families. And my son was one of them that was attacked by these Hispanic right. cartels. And these are the type of dangerous people up. you guys have in our country. Thank you and for it's your Americans testimony. first. And we will call the Thank federal government on all of you guys.
to get our country back. Thank you. Hi, my name is Elsa Aldiger, and I'm here on my behalf and on the behalf of the Latino community that are here legal. Um, as, a, as an immigrant from El Salvador, I strongly disagree that California is even considering sheltering illegal criminals that have broken the law instead of prioritizing our legal citizens. Look around on the streets. We have homeless sleeping on the streets. We have veterans without no food. We have children without proper care. Are you guys aware the California deficit went from um, seven, uh, 37 million to 300 million in just one year? We cannot afford to be helping illegal, illegal criminals. The use of our tax dollars to fund illegal aliens, it's prohibited by the Constitution of the United States. And I learned that when I became a citizen, forcing the taxpayers in California to fund illegal activity is wrong. All California right. needs to protect our legal citizens first. Thank you. Thank God you for bless your, America. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Just raise the rule, please. My name is Denise Zamora. I am representing the Latinos for Trump, and I am an American citizen. Um, I'm also a writer, and I'd like to um, speak a little bit about the uh, Constitution and the rule of law on illegal immigration. Amendment 14, Section 1, all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. Whenever a question arises concerning an important issue, such as immigration, the best and the most reliable source for finding what this nation should do in solving any problems that we face is to look to the Constitution, and Trump has done so. You may not like him, but I voted for him, and 30% of Hispanics in California voted for him. So I say to you, what part of illegal don't you understand? What part of each country has their own laws and constitutions? Don't you understand? And what part of Donald Trump's loud and bluntly truth do you not understand when he mentions crime by illegals coming into America? Your time has expired. Thank you for your testimony. All right. Good afternoon. My name is Dolly Cordelli Jimenez. I am a citizen of uh, America. I'm an American citizen and from Honduras. Okay, y siento mucho eh, tener que decirle a cierta a estas personas que mm, están eh, con, eh, que están de acuerdo con las ciudades santuarias. Yo no estoy de acuerdo. Lo siento mucho, pero no, no puedo porque mis hijos son de aquí, mis nietos son de aquí, necesitan colegios y eh, instituciones para que puedan estudiar gratis y no tengan que pagar. I do not agree with sanctuary cities. I have uh, nephews, I have, I have children that need uh, funds to attend school and facilities. Además que eh, en este país hay welfare, que tengo entendido que las personas que no son ciudadanos ni, ni residentes de este país están recibiéndolo, hospitales que también los atienden. I, am under, I believe that uh, this, this county uh, provides welfare and uh, you do not need to be an American citizen to receive that and uh, they are receiving those uh, services. No entiendo también por qué ustedes no principiaron estas ciudades santuarias antes cuando el señor presidente Obama, eh, que fue el primero en deportar, separar familias, destruir negocios. I don't understand why you didn't uh, begin this sanctuary cities process. Uh, president Obama is the first president to uh, split families and um, deport people, uh, deport the most people. Sí. ¿Por qué lo están haciendo ahora? Ustedes están simplemente en contra de también de, de, de los propósitos que tiene el señor presidente Donald Trump. Why are you doing now? You are just uh, against the president like Donald Trump's agenda. Yo he tenido eh, amistades que tuvieron que salir del país. Sus hijos quedaron allí ambulantes. De, me pidieron ayuda. Le pidieron ayuda a mis, a mis hijos. I have had uh, friends that have uh, been deported and their families have been split. Um, the children remain being uh, street vendors. And they have, they've asked for help. Incluyendo right. Benghazi. Including Benghazi. Thank you. Una de los países. Thank you for your testimony. <clears throat> My name is Betty Ratama with We the People Rising. 
and America First Latinos. Legal assistance for illegals is one of the most insane statements I can think of. Uh, Hilda Solis is not here to face the people, but we went, her constituents, to her field office in Huntington Park. They locked the door and refused to talk to us. One of the so-called uh, security people attacked one of our people and tried to take his phone away from him, stop him from taking pictures. You are all breaking the law. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. And any law, any law that does not correlate with the Constitution is in itself an illegal law. Thank you like for your, the illegals. Thank you for your testimony. We'll take the next speaker, please. In town, and his name is Donald J. Trump. He is going to enforce federal law. So you five, where's the fifth one? Is he gone? Anyway, you folks are going to be losing federal money. Okay. Can you stop my time? That's enough. Can you stop my time? Okay. Can you stop my time? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we will continue this hearing with you or without you. Now, if it's without you, it'll be a lot quieter for me and I'll be happy. However, I'm happy to have you attend as well. Whether people are saying things you like or you don't like, I'd like you to listen and not try to drown them out in the same way as you would like to speak and not be drowned out. Madam Executive Officer, please restore the time to this gentleman. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Yes, um, I'd like to say that um, we contacted uh, Sheriff McDonald by email, and he has not returned a reply to my email from three weeks ago. We wanted to have input into this, um, what's going on here with the city of Los Angeles. We do not want sanctuary cities or counties. We want American citizens to be first over illegals. They should be getting no, nothing at all. They don't deserve any, they don't, they don't deserve any benefits whatsoever. Also, I'd like to say that they are illegals, aliens. They don't belong here. If they want to become legal citizens, get in line and become legal citizens so that we can have tranquility. Thank you for your testimony. Next speaker, please. And would the two people who've already spoken please vacate their seats so the next speakers can come. Thank you. Hi, yes, my name is Marcela Hernandez. I'm with the Immigrant Youth Coalition and the I of LA Coalition. Please. Hello, my name is <clears throat> Deandeline, old stage mom, Sheila. Um, my family came here from Sweden right after the Civil War, and we have split up four different times, the family members. That is not new in this, in this country. Families being split up. <clears throat> my, my, father passed, my father's father passed away when he was only 16. He had to split up his family, take over the, the job, and uh, support his family. During the Second World War, my father had to go out to the Second World War. Our family was split up. Many families split up all during that time. That's nothing new. I cannot feel sorry for illegal aliens who cry because their families are being split up. My family is now splitting up. My cousins are moving to other states because of this. I have one cousin left in this state. Suck it up, buttercup. Okay, I'd like to start by saying there's a new sheriff. Hey, 
Guatemalan, and, uh, Guatemalan illegal alien living in California has been arrested for causing the death of Riverside County Sheriff's Department Dispatcher Dominic Durden, 30, on July 12, 2012. Police believe Zan, who was driving a Chevy pickup truck, turned in front of the victim's motorcycle, causing a crash in which Durden died from his injuries. Soon has reportedly pled not guilty to the charges of vehicle uh, manslaughter without gross neglect and driving without a license. News reports point out that Zun has a history of prior arrests, including a conviction for DUI, a pending DUI case, and a 2009 grand <coughs> theft arrest. So do you guys care about his death? Thank um, you. And, uh, Thank you for your testimony. Next, please. Hello, my name is... My name is George Franklin from Huntington Park. Uh, <clears throat> it's a shame that uh, we have to come up here to uh, attend one of these meetings up here. Usually we handle all of this in, in Huntington Park with our uh, corrupt city council that we have. And, all right. Uh, um, I think we are really at the point of deteriorating. So, Sergeants, let me tell you what we need to do. Uh, I've, I've had a, 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 I think we've had more than enough. So this is disruption for the last time. And so I'm going to ask that um, the chamber be emptied. We're going to go in executive session at this point. Madam uh, Executive Officer, please read us in.